Hello everyone, today I would like to introduce to you Unitree Remote Control with Screen. The module consists of three main parts. One part is the remote control shown below, and then there is a part of its receiving end. That last part is the robot dog body. Here you can see two kinds of remote controls. Unitree officially ships the remote control with the square antenna on top. This is an enhanced device. Receiving end includes lighting, camera, antenna and other components. You need to follow the installation video or documentation provided by Unitree to install the module after receiving the robot dog. Then place the antenna like this to make it vertical. Then check whether the whole module is loose and whether the cable is loose. After checking, power up the robot. Short press plus long press on battery button. The remote controls power on it is also a short press plus a long press on the middle of the switch button. Then wait for the robot dog to turn on. The leftmost LED is its communication light. Green is always on to indicate normal connection. Other colors are abnormal. The four LEDs on the right side indicate the power level, and the cells indicate full power. As you can see in this screen, the remote control has an Android phone system embedded in it. The robot turns on and stands up on its own. One of the lights here turns green, indicating that it is properly connected and ready for use. It is like an Android phone that can be used in conjunction with the actual. See if it's the key to use. After opening, you can see the two sets of camera images on the back of the robot dog. Touch the screen to switch and change the size. The map transmission is much clearer than the one in Unitree app, and the transmission distance is much longer, sharp to 500 meters or more. The following introduces the joystick-operated robot dog. The remote control operates the robot dog in a similar way to the other remote control. These two joysticks are used to control the robot's walking direction and attitude adjustment. The A and B buttons are used to switch the robot's stair climbing gait, the same as the other remote control. The D button is equivalent to the start of another remote control and allows the robot to walk or stand remotely. I now press the D button. The robot began to walk back and forth, left and right, and rotation. C key is used to turn on and off the obstacle avoidance function, similar to the X and Y keys of another remote control. The first time you press the C button is to turn on the obstacle avoidance, and then press again is to turn off the obstacle avoidance. This horizontal button in the middle is used to adjust the height of the robot. Dial to the left side, the robot dog's body will be lowered. The middle position is the default height, the right side is raising the body. The upper right corner of this button is used to open and close the lighting. The three positions correspond to off, on and brighten respectively. The buttons on the left are the combination keys L1 and L2. It is also another remote control L1 and L2, used with other buttons to control the robot dogs. Downward pedal is to hold L2, the middle is neutral, upward pedal is to hold L1. The following practical operation. Dial down hold LR. Then press the button. Now the robot locks the joint and gets down. Press again, 
the robot stands up. Press the B button at this time. The robot will enter the non-damp state. Press the A button twice and the robot stand up. You need to gear it back to the middle to control the robot properly. After dialing down, it means that the robot is now in the state of pressing L2 all the time. Then I show climbing stairs. Press the A button to climb the stairs. Then press the B button again to exit the mode. Since there are more devices that can control the machine dog, a distinction has been made to prevent conflicts between them. Turning this rocker to the center means that the remote control is used to control the robot puppies. Toggling this rocker up means controlling the robot dog with the Unitree app or tag. Because the software channel to control the robot dog is limited, we make a distinction. Because I now dial the joystick to the top, so now cannot use the remote control robot dog. Because I need to shoot this video for you to see the screen, so my remote control is tilted up. You actually use the process. You need to try to keep the antenna on top of the remote control is facing the antenna on the receiving end. The following shows how to shut down. First let the robot down, and then short press plus long press the switch above the battery. Switch the display above the remote control to the main interface. Then long press this power button. Just click on shutdown. At the same time, the remote control with screen supports the transfer of images to our monitor. There is a HDI interface on top of the remote control. Then I now plug the HDI cable into. OK, just plug it in directly. It actually remotes the interface of my remote control with screen directly to the monitor. There are two points to note about charging remote controls with screens. First, be sure to use our original charger, otherwise it will not charge. The second point, the remote control with screen can only be charged in the off state. Then I now connect the charging cable. A red LED will be displayed here. Red means it is charging. After it is full it will be green.